Hey guys, what's up? Uh, first of all, I just want to say I hope everybody enjoyed their Thanksgiving. Uh, I know I had, a, I had a nice day off, you know, family came over. Um, and second of all, I'd like to thank all of you, especially my new subscribers and especially my old subscribers. Um, it came pretty fast, but I'm already above 200 subscribers. I was going to do a video, but you guys have been really busy with work and school. Uh, I am, work's getting to be ridiculous, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm this close to quitting really soon. Uh, it's just too much between school and everything, and I, I really can't take it much longer. But um, as of writing this vlog, I'm up to 221 subscribers, which is just wow. I mean, in the course, I think it was last night, in the course of maybe seven hours, I got like 12 new subscribers. That's just freaking awesome. Um, really, I appreciate it all. I, I don't know how, I guess my videos are just making the round, or if someone you know, I, I don't know, it's just really cool that I'm getting a lot of subscribers, and I really do appreciate it, and I would also want to give thanks to uh, two people in particular, I want to thank Caramel412, uh, who made his first video today, and mentioned me as inspiring him for wanting to make videos on YouTube, which, that's just awesome, you know, I never thought I'd inspire somebody to actually make videos on YouTube, uh, so check his channel out, you'll see him in my subscribers box, or you can check out the link I got up here. Um, so check out his channel. He has a really cool story about how he lost all his games, and he's going to be, you know, kind of regrouping them all because he had to pay off uh, his, his for his school supplies. He's an art major, just like me, which is cool. And there's also a second person I want to give a shout out to, and that's Street Skate, for also mentioning me in his Thanksgiving uh, episode. So thanks very much, guys, for anything. Anytime you guys ever mention me in a video, let me know. I'll favorite you. Um, I'll check out your videos. You know. I, I will say this too, I am I am very picky in subscriptions, I am very organized, or I'm trying to be, I'm not the type of person that will, you know, subscribe, I'm not, I don't do sub for sub, um, I'm really picky in my subscriptions, because I don't want to, I don't want to have my subscriptions box flooded with videos, um, but yeah, thanks so much guys, and, uh, you know, I was going to do a 200 subscribers video, um, but really, I mean, if it's going up this fast, people... I might as well just wait until I hit 500 and do something really special for that, you know. Maybe, um, well, I, I won't spoil anything, but it'll be it'll be better than your normal uh, YouTube videos out there where people just kind of give thanks. I'll, ju I'll just say that much. There's a little tip. Um, but anyway, um, I have picked up two new games um, over the past day or two. I'm not going to spoil them. You're going to have to wait until my next uh, Games I Bought episode. But those of you that know me, you can kind of guess what one of them is. I mean, come on, just just think for a little bit, and, and you'll know what one of them is. I haven't had a chance to play it yet, though. Um, second of all, I just wanted to say, um, for those of you that watch my Mirror's Edge review, you might have noticed that it had a change in quality. Um, for the worse and the better, um, when I was done uploading the video, I realized that it had recorded in below um, 640 or 640 by 480. It actually recorded in, like, 480. 80 by 360 or something like that. So unless you watch it in high quality, it's kind of blurry. But you might have noticed that the quality of the video in terms of its presentation was upped a little bit because that night I had downloaded a trial of Sony Vegas Movie Pro Platinum, I believe. Um, so now I'm able to put video footage that I record um, over me talking. I'm not. You're not able to do that easily unless, from what I know, in Windows Movie Maker, which is what I'm using or what was using. But now for my review videos, you're going to find that I'm going to be recording footage when I can because people, I know I'm getting a lot of requests for like Fallout 3 reviews and uh, reviews for this game or that game. You just got to realize that it does take a long time to make these reviews, you know, capturing the footage or even just sitting down and collecting my thoughts to make a review that's actually, you know, meaningful and not just sitting there and be like, well, yeah, the controls were, they're all right, you know, the graphics, yeah, they're good. You know, I actually try and put thought into my reviews. I do not script my reviews. I kind of just, I just kind of think beforehand. I'm like, yeah, I like that about the game. I like that. All right, I'll talk about that. And I basically just sit here and I talk. I'm not reading off anything. I really don't really think much about it beforehand. Maybe that's what people love about my reviews. I don't know. But um, it just takes time, especially with video footage. So, and I, I've been really busy. I'm going to be busy up until around November 20th. Or well, actually, no, you know what? I'm probably going to be busy uh, up until January because um, of Christmas and the holiday season and work and all my class schedule but anyway you, you'll you notice that um, that night I was actually up for hours it was so aggravating trying to teach myself Vegas Movie Pro because I'm not imagine just opening up like this new program and being like okay what do I do how do I edit this video it was tough and I was determined to get it out that night 
and the next night was the next day was Black Friday, uh, so I worked like an eleven hour shift. But um, I was determined that I got it out okay, and I think it came out pretty good. I'm really happy with it. So for those of you interested in Mirror's Edge, definitely check out my review, um, as I think it really covers the game pretty well. So those of you wondering about it, there you go. Um, what else did I want to cover? Oh, for those of you that are really in love with my voice and you think you want to hear about four more hours about me talking about games um, about over a year ago maybe a year and a half I did a podcast um, for four episodes each episode ran anywhere between 45 minutes upwards to an hour plus and I'm gonna post the link in the more information box for this video but if you want to go to controller one gaming that wordpress.com you can find my four episodes of my old podcast and, you know, it's not like it's really that out of date. I talk about games, you know, it's not like I'm like, I do a little bit of gaming news, that'll be a little out of date, but I still, you know, talk about a game I was playing in each episode, like a specific game. Um, in each episode, I was doing, you know, a retro review of an older game. Um, and I was just giving my thoughts, and, you know, one night, the other night, I actually sat down and listened to my first episode, and I was like, man, where where did I think of that? That's pretty cool. I, I was interested I'm not going to listen to the other episodes, but I was interested in listening to myself talk. I was listening, you know, I was like, oh yeah, I remember that about that game, like thinking back to the games I was playing when I was doing the podcast. But um, podcasting just didn't work out for me, you know, it it didn't feel like I was connecting with anybody. With YouTube, it's also up on iTunes, you could probably search it on there, uh, just search my name and you, you might be able to find it on there. But um, with YouTube, you know, I get user comments, I get feedback, I get messages, I just feel so much more connected. Um, I've, I've also tried blogging in the past, um, and it, it kind of worked out sometimes, but not really. Um, YouTube is just what I've always been wanting to do, you know. Get my message out there, have people watch it, and give me feedback, and that's all I ever asked for. So as long as I'm getting my message out there. Um, so anything else? What do I have planned? Uh, I mean, it's coming to the end of the gaming season for this year. It's been an awesome... I think I'm going to do a video for this year in gaming. Uh, there were so many awesome games that have came out this year. I think you can call 2008 the best year in video game history. Um, and I mean, I, I'm probably going to do a video on that when I get a chance, probably sometime early January. Um, but really, people, just think about all the high-profile games that came out for each system. 2008 has been awesome uh, for every system. I mean, even the Wii. The Wii has had some really pretty good third-party titles. First-party titles, not really. I mean, but, you know, I mean, we had Smash, but uh, there really hasn't been anything outrageous. I, every system's been really good, so I look forward to my video on that. Um, now, video reviews, I'll just say that I'm not pumping these things out like crazy, you know. They're, they're going to take some time, you know. They're probably going to be more of a weekly thing uh, than what you guys are hoping for, at least for the rest of this month. Maybe next month, if I, and if I do quit, end up quitting my job at Best Buy, because uh, it's just going to be crazy, uh, you'll probably see more reviews from me, and I'll get more into the classic games, because there's really not going to be too many newer games coming out. So, real quick, some of the stuff I've been playing. Um, Sonic Unleashed, my opinion still stands on that. Uh, it, the daytime Sonic levels are awesome, they're great. Werehog levels are just way, they're, like I said, they're not terrible, but they're just way too long, way too slow. Uh, 25 to 30 minutes of repetitive combat, which isn't that great to start with, is just not my cup of tea. But for those of you that can get by, can live with that stuff, it's, it's a good game. Um, Animal Crossing, you know, I want to play this game, I want to love it. And I'm not going to cheat the system by resetting or moving forward or back my time on my Wii system. But when I get home from work at night and I go on Animal Crossing and, you know, it's nighttime and all the shops are kind of closed, Tom Nook's store is closed, it's kind of hard to play. I mean, I, yeah, I could gather stuff, but I'll run out of pocket space. It's it's the type of game you need to play during the daytime. I mean, what can I say? But there you go, guys. I got tomorrow off, so I'm probably going to be putting up a video tomorrow, so look forward to that. Once again, thanks so much to all my subscribers. Get the word out there, guys. I, I really appreciate it, and uh, see you next time.